Hello class, I'm Juan Garcia, and I'll be doing an overview of the VW film, China, State Surveillance, or Way of the Future. As technology has become ever integrated into our daily lives, some countries have found ways to use this new dependency from technology as a way to conduct surveillance and control their own population. Specifically, this film highlights how China has used a myriad of ways to surveil its own population. The more new technologies emerge, the more ways that they're able to conduct this surveillance. China has the ability to collect, store, analyze, and use the data derived from personal devices using data center hubs. These hubs are also able to connect to an integrated camera surveillance system that are all throughout China, allowing them to spy on any ordinary citizen and deem whether they're acting as they should. An example brought up in the film of how technology is being used to surveil and control the Chinese populace is the COVID tracking application that is mandatory to enter buildings. The application is not evil or morally wrong in itself. We use something very similar here in Germany, where I live. The difference is that in Germany, you know that your own information and your data is protected. Your location is not tracked, nor the people that you have been around. In China, this data is collected by the government to track and locate people. Everywhere you have been to, everyone you have seen, and the government, the government will know. You see all these different types of collections being used by the Chinese government used to create a social credit system. This allows the Chinese government to reward the citizens who obey the government, while the citizens who disobey are reprimanded and will receive less and be able to do less in their society. You see how technology has been used as a normalizing power from how the average Chinese citizens view their government spying on them and collecting their own data. Many people view the surveillance as necessary, even as beneficial to their society. It's normal for a stranger who works for the government to know what restaurant you ate at that morning to make sure that no one around you had COVID. However, just because the initial or face value intent was to help the average citizen does not mean those measures are not used for morally wrong actions. The Uyghurs in Shenzhen is a perfect example. The face recognition software, tracking, pe tracking, of people of, uh, tracking movement of people, and the collection of personal information is used by the Chinese government to suppress this group of people. Now, does this mean that Western companies buying these camera systems, AI, and facial recognition software are as morally culpable as the Chinese government that is suppressing the Uyghurs? TikTok is another way that technology has been used for normalizing power. TikTok, in the Chinese version, Douyin, is well known to shadow ban certain content that they do not want to be spread. This control of information is not only contained within Russia, within China. According to Forbes, there's, there are over 100 million active U.S. TikTok users alone. The ability to control what 100 million people of a foreign adversary is able to see is unprecedented. Most people understand that TikTok does collect information from them, but because of normative power, this has become a normal trade-off from the users and the company. Thank you.